I'm Dr Emma Craythorn, consultant dermatologist and founder of Clara. You've landed on this page to talk a little bit more about the condition perioral dermatitis. Now, perioral dermatitis is a benign condition, but it can be very troublesome for a lot of people. What tends to happen is you get these very small bumps, often appearing around the mouth, hence the name perioral, but it can actually also occur around the nose and sometimes around the eye. It becomes a periocular dermatitis in that case, but the process is the same. The skin is dry in the area, sometimes a little bit scaly and sometimes a little bit cracked. And these tiny, tiny little bumps that you see sometimes have a small amount of pus or water in them and sometimes don't have any and they just appear as these gripped small bumps. Now, they can be very annoying and almost look a little bit like an eczema type of reaction, save for the fact that those little bumps are there. Now, why people get perioral dermatitis, we don't really know. We got a fair idea that it's to do with the skin barrier. The skin barrier is really important for keeping all the irritants out of our skin and it's also very important for keeping all of the water in our skin. Our skin has a very delicate safari of all the microbes that live on it and sometimes if they get out of kilter with each other then that is also part of the causes that we think might be responsible for perioral dermatitis. One of the top causes are people who would be applying topical steroids to their skin. Sometimes it can be caused by inhaling steroids and sometimes it can be caused by some of the chemicals that we might put on our skin in the form of our cleansing skincare products or the makeup that we might use or sometimes even the microbes that are on the brushes that we might use. It's difficult to know. One of the main treatments for perioral dermatitis is actually stripping the vast majority of everything that you put on your skin out of the way and it's called a zero therapy approach where you use a very simple cleanser and a very, very simple moisturiser to try and settle the inflammation down. Typically, this is not enough and you do need an effective topical treatment. And one of the reasons I came up with Clear in the first place is to have a treatment that we know is going to be effective in treating perioral dermatitis, but is also something that's got a joy with it to use. It helps to build up the skin barrier so that you are less likely to run into problems with perioral dermatitis in the future. To learn a little bit more about perioral dermatitis, you can check out my social media channels and I'd love to see you there so that we can go into things in even more detail.